Uh, so we've got, for our program, you have to meet certain eligibility requirements. Uh, we have four programs. The 8-8 program is our flagship. You have to be a minority. You've got to be a, an ethnic uh, group to be uh, allowed to participate. 51% um, ownership. You've got to be in the United States. Uh, another avenue is a woman-owned business. You could have three people that form a company, and as long as two of those are women, 51% uh, ownership, there's a stream for women-owned small businesses. We have a channel for veterans. If uh, you're a service-disabled vet, you are allowed to participate. And then finally, a catch-all is uh, what's called a hub zone, a historically underutilized business zone. Think like near us in Keyport, uh, Fort Monmouth was a, a robust army base. And uh, about a decade ago, it kind of shuttered. It might've been more than 10 years, but when it shuttered, it was on the base realignment committee, they chopped it. So when the base and all the Department of Army personnel and the families left, it created a vacuum. And so what the government wants to do is encourage businesses to set up shop. So small businesses can say, I'm going to open my business in this historically underutilized business zone and get set aside in the federal contracting realm. So it is a win-win situation. The federal government, again, $690 billion. Congress has got federally mandated set aside. So for this year, 23% of that $690 billion is set aside for those four avenues of federal contracting. There's a lot of money in this space. I can tell you that we don't have a lot of uh, federal contractors across the United States. I think there's 40, right around 45,000 small businesses that are participating in, in the four um, contracting opportunities that the SBA has. I, um, I was reading a statistic from um, last year, I believe it was 2022, and the statistic said that $189 billion of federal spending was targeted strictly for set-asides with certifications, and that the number of small businesses that actually participated was pretty low, mm -hmm. you know, compared to the number of small businesses out there that could participate. So you heard it first, well, maybe second, but um, some advice from uh, New Jersey director of the SBA, uh, John Blackstock, uh, giving us some really good insights and also letting you know what we'll be having at Procurement Con. Um, so go to the link below, uh, visit uh, sbdchudsoncounty.com slash pc23, check out what's going on, book your tickets, they're very limited. Um, and uh, be there.